What it is, what it do, Cyber World. It is your girl, the one, the only, Ash Said It. Ash Said It.com. Ash Said It.com. Welcome to the Ash Said It Daily Podcast Show. I appreciate you guys for all of your love and support. Over 1,600 episodes and half a million streams worldwide. None of this would be possible without you guys, so I thank you so, so very much. And yes, to, shout out to all of my AT aliens, all my Georgia folks, my peoples, all right? You know, it's been getting a little warm out, all right? Getting warm, I mean, you can kind of step out a little bit. Be careful, wear your mask, protect yourself, protect others. But while you're out there, you know, checking out the scene, today I've got the regional operation manager of Nacho Daddy Duluth, the wonderful Chris Thompson. Hey, Chris. <laughs> Hello. How are you today? I am. Uh, like I told you earlier, if I, I if I was any better, I would be twins. I'm very <laughs> happy, and we're honored to be on Ash Said It. Oh, thank you so much. So, Chris, for people that are just unaware, and and I was unaware until I actually moved to Vegas, I didn't really know much about Nacho Daddy. Never really heard of them. They're, you know, totally a regional situation. What is the story behind Nacho Daddy? Well, it's, um, I love the story, so it's one of my favorite topics. (laughs) Uh, You know, we've been, we've been going at this now for 10 years strong this Mm. year, and, uh, the really great part to all the AT aliens is, uh, you know, conceptually, uh, our founders came up with it uh, in a little place called Tavern at Phipps uh, Ooh, in Buckhead. You know, yes. yeah, yeah. Wow. So uh, they kind of <laughs> they were all you know we have a lot of entrepreneurs in our our group of founders and uh, they had indulged in some tavern chips <laughs> and you know they they felt like the nacho just didn't have the respect that it deserved, you know, on the appetizer menu. Mm -hmm. And I think everybody out there listening, you know, you've all been to that restaurant where you see nachos and Mm. you you order them. And I call it a a plate of disappointment. (laughs) You know, you get some (laughs) canned cheese and some low grade ground beef and Mm -hmm. then they they spice it up with some olives. So our founders really wanted to bring some truly gourmet, you know, some exotics, and uh, just really kind of blow up the, the platform of nachos and bring it to the world in a way that, you know, really kind of celebrates them. So, um, yeah, our, you could say we're born and raised in Vegas, but uh, conceptually it started there in Buckhead. So, uh, you know, we're really excited about uh, Georgia, our Georgia roots. So. Yes. Okay. Well, that, that makes a little bit more sense why, you know, you guys would come to the Dirty South first, you know, and, um, you know, after making a lot of headway, you know, on, on the West Coast over there. But, um, but coming to Duluth, what was that process like as far as where to pick a spot for Nacho Daddy? You know, we, we really want to tie, I mean, in our concept, you know, we, we really big on community philanthropy so we really wanted to find an area of community that we felt we could grow in with our brand and as we were looking around you know OTP we found uh, this little beautiful city uh, <laughs> named Duluth and uh, you know the city was I mean it, it, big things happening in Duluth and they were really they were expanding their main street area and blowing up the, the Parsons Alley project and um You know, one of our local realtors took us by the property and, you know, we were able to have a patio. Mm. Um, You know, then the, the, for those of you that don't know, in Duluth, you can take away your alcohol and drink inside the city proper area. Mm. So, you know, it really kind of gave us a sense that we could kind of take some of the things we really enjoy about Vegas. And, and bring some of that to the, the downtown Duluth area. And then, and I got, really got to give a shout out to, you know, Chris McGahee and Nancy, the mayor, and yeah. um, a lot of the folks in, in Duluth. I mean, they're really kind of, I mean, there's a hotel going downtown Duluth. Uh, there are mm-hmm. summer programs, the mm-hmm. Food Truck Fridays. Oh, yeah. You know, Fall mm-hmm. Festival. Um, so we, we really felt like it aligned with our brand and, and our identity, and we felt like we could find some community and really just hopefully they would share our love for nachos and margaritas <laughs> and, you know, all the other things. I don't want to jump too far ahead, but, uh, you know, we, 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 we love it, you know, and, and um, so Duluth barely fit what we were looking for. So we're happy with it. Yes, absolutely. And a lot of people don't even realize that downtown Duluth area, it's a hidden gem in Gwinnett. 
that is a hidden gem and, and to know about, you know, the, the, the food truck Fridays and all that stuff, like, it's just good eating. <laughs> it's a good spot for you guys to be at. So. Yeah. Definitely appreciate that. All right, Chris. So let's uh, let's let's get to it. All right. How have you guys implemented COVID nineteen precautions in your restaurants? Well, you know, it, it's obviously safety first. So as we traverse, you know, it's funny as we're we're uh, approaching the the annual. Uh, I don't know if we call it an anniversary or just the one year <laughs> mark of this. Um, yeah. You know, as the uh, leadership group. You know, the first call I made, we, you know, was to our uh, chemical provider, Ecolab. Um, you know, we got the best products that, that uh, you know, 30 seconds contact surfaces, nothing can live, including COVID-19. Mm-hmm. Um, it, all the social distancing, you know, and it, it's been a, it's been a number one focus for us because without safety, you know, we can't maneuver this. So I'm happy to see where we're going, right. but, you know, we've kept all of our employees and guests safe. Um, you know, obviously the mask main day tell the social distancing, proper chemical knowledge and usage, mm-hmm. uh, spray bottles, you know, all of those things. So it's, uh, it's really been, uh, and it's been nice with our local people that we've partnered with to make sure, you know, when the testing came out and, um, now with everything going with the, the vaccines, but, uh, mm-hmm. it's, uh, you know, it, it, we're really happy with, um, our partners on this yeah. and the way that we've spread the safety and, you know, in some of our locations, we put dividers up, the plexiglass in between the booths, just so guests could feel more comfortable. Mm-hmm. We removed tables. We didn't want to remove too many so that they didn't feel like it was an empty building, but mm-hmm. just enough that it would be safety-driven. Right. Mm-hmm. And you could still feel like, you know, that the world was a little normal, because it's important. You know, in hospitality, yeah. that's always been job number one for me, is how do you make your guests feel like you're, they're at your dinner table, you know, in your home? Right. So we, we really tried to approach the safety measures with, you know, safety first right. with a, you know, then we sprinkled in that recipe with some hospitality to make sure that they really under you know, try to feel hospitable as, as well. So um, I'm really proud of what we've done to keep the, the people safe. Yes. Now I want to talk a little bit about dietary restrictions. So, I've seen the menu. Actually, I haven't been to Duluth yet. I just got back to Georgia, so I'm going to make my way out there, Chris. I'm promising you that. I'm going to make it. But um, as far as dietary restrictions go, what options do you guys have for vegans, people that are non-meat eaters? Oh, my. my one of my favorite topics, and I, I got to tell you, <laughs> um, one thing that brought me, one of the things that brought me to Nacho Daddy um, when I researched the company was, you know, 10 years they have had a vegan menu. So mm. they've been servicing vegans and vegetarians for 10 years. Like, mm. we didn't we didn't jump on the bandwagon. We built it. Mm. Um, you know, and, and I'm really proud of that because, yeah. you know, whatever, you, you know, carnivore, herbivore, vegetarian, whatever, we, we accept everybody. Come on in. But, you know, for the vegans, we've got an entire page. I mean, a vegan chimichanga. we got a Ooh. vegan chocolate cake. What? That is uh, vegan oh. chocolate cake drizzled with raspberries, fresh oh raspberries God. on top. And the base of it is crumbled up Oreos. And I'll tell you this, you know, I, I've, I've got a campaign going right now that I want to put in the menu as just a chocolate cake for, for the regular, you know, the, uh, the, the con- carnivorous folks. <laughs> and then, you know, leave it as a vegan, leave it as a vegan, because a lot of people, I think they sleep on it because mm-hmm. they, don't, they don't realize that it, just because it says vegan doesn't mean it's not flavorable. I mean, right. it's an amazing uh, chocolate cake. So, mm. you know, we, we're really proud of it. We got vegan queso. So you can come in and get a triple dip with vegan queso, oh, uh, house-made yes. guacamole, house-made salsa, yes. house-made chips. So, you know, you can come in and get all the flavors mm. um, and, and, and guilt-free. Just enjoy it. I so, uh, you know, it. it's really, <laughs> yeah. Cool, cool beans. I, I love that because I am I'm tapering into the the vegan esque lifestyle, Chris, a little bit. So it, that's one of the the top things is like you know, am I gonna go? Am I just gonna eat a salad and that's gonna be it? But you guys got a whole page of food for me, so all right, we're gonna we're gonna come that. <laughs> we're gonna oh yeah, it would that. take it would take somebody it would take a vegan. I would say you know several trips to um, you know kind of tour the whole page and, and mm. taste all of the items that we have. So it's. Uh, you know, and we really like that, and, yes. you know, that we have that, those options. Yes. Yeah. 
All right, so you've got two limited edition options that are currently available, and I want to talk about them. So let's talk about the first one, the Irish nachos. What can you tell us about that one? Oh, oh my. <laughs> um, well, for the listeners, I happen to be quite Irish myself. So <laughs> this is, uh, we do have a, we have another concept uh, called Flippin' Good Burgers, Chicken, and Beer, which is, is a, you know, we, we have house-made French fries there. We use the mm. can potatoes. So I, I want to start there because when we go into the culinary, I, uh, you know, the focus, and, and I want to expand on that just a little bit because the Irish nacho starts um, with a Canonbeck potato, house-made potato chip, mm. um, some crushed uh, stone mustard, and then we, we braise the, the uh, corned beef and some Dos Equis beer. We have some, mm. some spice in there. Wow. Uh, it's like a six to eight hour process. So, you know, when you're getting the corned beef on top, I mean, it's, it's really, it just wow. falls apart. So then we put some queso on there and some green onions and, uh, it's really, and, and the beautiful, I mean, it's, it's a limited time offer. So it runs from March 1st to March 17th mm. on St. Patrick's Day. So it, it's really a decadent nacho that you're really going to taste the flavors of Ireland you know, with a, with a nacho daddy twist on it. So we're really, uh, and it does very well. So it, it's, it's an amazing nacho. Okay. All right. That sounds good. All right. The, the next one is the shrimp curry nachos. Yes. Mm. So this one, you know, this would fall definitely into our exotic category. Yeah. You know, so the, that is like the, we take the tender marinated shrimp, mm. saute that up in some spicy coconut curry sauce. Yeah. And then we use actual, we use a spinach um, tortilla chip. Mm. Um, so it's a spinach tortilla chip. We put our house-made white queso on it, some mm. house-made refreshing mango pico de gallo, yes. queso fresco, and then some green onions on top of that. So it's mm. really, you know, the, the curry shrimp nacho is literally, it's a, uh, it's a carnival of flavors in your mouth. So, mm. I mean, it's just, you're getting a little bit of everything. And, you know, with, with masa... And, and that, that's kind of the thing. When you're using corn chips as a vehicle for flavors, you know, people don't really, you, know, you don't ever think about it until you taste it, but it's such a, a unique vehicle to get those flavors to arrive on your palate. Mm. And then it just mixes so well. So, um, and in addition to that, um, we've started the Margarita of the Month program as well. So we Ooh. decided to do a Coco Rita a Coco Rita, mm. so it has some coconut flavoring in it, yeah. you know, and, and it's, uh, so it kind of washes everything down real nice, so, okay. um, yeah. Cool, cool beans, that sounds good. Now, I'm going to ask you this, Chris, are are y'all still putting scorpions in the scorpion shot? <laughs> we, we, you know it, <laughs> absolutely. World famous hashtag got stung. Uh, Scorpion shot. Uh, Are you brave enough? Mm, Let's go. Mm. Chris, now for people that, that, that haven't <laughs> people that, that haven't gotten out to Duluth yet, they haven't tried the Scorpion shot. How would you describe it? Um, you know, I, I describe it as just a, a really fun. You know, it's kind of. It gives you some energy and adrenaline. Are you brave enough? You know, and, and this started, you know, if you think about it, they've been doing this for years, putting worms and, and tequila and, and whatnot. But Nacho Daddy's like, you know what? We owe it to our fans to step this up a little bit. We want to serve them a scorpion. So, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, really, it, it's really great when you see, um, you know, literally we watch busloads of people, of guests, raving fans come in. They go to the bar. I need 10 scorpion shots. It's very, you know, high energy. <laughs> they enjoy it. You get to keep the shot glass. And now you, you, the most important part, you've got a story to tell. You, you know, like you were brave enough. You did it. Mm. And it's, uh, it's one of my uh, favorite aspects because I just, I love seeing the, the fun banter between uh, folks at the table. Come on, do it. It's your 21st birthday or it's your, <laughs> your anniversary or or whatever it is, you know, a lot of yeah. peer, peer, we never get too old for peer pressure. So oh I, it, it's fun to watch. <laughs> it's fun. I uh, love that. Now, Chris, can we talk anything about expansion? You guys are in Duluth now. Can we talk about maybe where you're going next? Yes. Um, well, after Duluth, um, you know, we were slated for Salt Lake City. Mm. And, um, 
you know, our, our founders are, are, are very bold. Um, I'll say it again, very bold entrepreneurs. They believe in the brand. Um, so we went ahead, we opened Salt Lake City in August of 2020. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and back to those safety measures and COVID, you know, it, it was, uh, I'm really proud of our team and what we were able to put together there. So we've, we've opened Salt Lake City, uh, Nacho Daddy. And um, right now we're looking at fourth quarter to go back to where it all started in Henderson, um, mm. Nevada. So that's, uh, yeah, that's where our grassroots location was. Yeah. Um, and we're going back to that community, and we couldn't be more excited about it. It's uh, we've we've had a lot of inquiries, and in the and the the folks and community in Las Vegas is that you know really want us back, and we we couldn't be more proud and flattered about that. So fourth quarter of 2021, Henderson's uh, opening up, and then uh, outside of that, we're um, we're we're I'll give you all some sneak peeks on Ash said it. You know, Ooh. we're looking at that. <laughs> Yeah, we're looking at uh, Nashville potentially. Okay, I can and, see that. Uh, Orlando, I can see that. Yes. yeah, Louisiana. Yeah, so we're you know the people. It's um, you know as we're picking these markets, just like I said with Duluth, we really want to find communities that um, you know we align with the brand and and all of those types of things. So, but we're really excited and uh, we love it. I mean, one of the biggest forms of flattery we get when we get. You know, the marketing emails and people asking us to come to their community. I, I just want to say thank you. Yes. You know, they've come to, to Vegas or they've hit one of our stores. And, you know, for me, that lights up my day when yeah. someone's like, hey, come, we want you to come here. And it, it just, like I said, back to that hospitality piece, it's like, you know, we really just want people to come in for a little bit, uh, dine with us and forget about everything outside. Just yes. have some nachos, margaritas, enjoy yourself. If you're brave enough, get that scorpion shot and uh, enjoy, you know, forget the world for a while. Just have fun with us. Absolutely. Chris, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate you. Oh, <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for having us. It's, uh, I was really excited um, when I found out you're a Georgia native and, and Duluth is one of them. It's partial to me. Yes. It, you know, it, it has my heart. Yes, I lived there for true. a year and, uh, yeah, it just, uh, so I really thank you so much for having us on and uh, really appreciate you. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I mean, Chris, this is not goodbye forever. Like, you have to come back. Because um, <laughs> I, oh, yeah. I want, ex- I want, like <laughs> I like well, no, it. We, we need to do part two. Oh, absolutely. And uh, I'll be out in April. So Ooh. you need to come up and we'll get you a scorpion shot. So All you right. Go. <laughs> you know, my birthday my birthday's in April, Chris. So, you know, we're, we're putting it out into the universe. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. I love it, Chris. Let everyone know the best way to get in contact with you guys, uh, website-wise and social media. Yeah, Nacho Daddy Duluth, Nacho Daddy LD at, at Instagram. We've got Twitter. Um you know, nachodaddy.com if you just want to check us out and read more about our story. Um, thank you all so much for the support. And if you haven't ever dined with us, come on in and taste the, the carnival of flavors. That's all I got to say. All right. We're putting it out there, Chris. Thank you so much. Definitely appreciate this. And um, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. Keeping in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do. Just look them square in the face. Tell them, don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for, the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys.